consider it. Alright guys, here we are at the build. So to run things down real quick, um, we're going to be running into the stalker tree here and the master tree. So to start things off in the stalker tree, we have a 5 out of 5 in the self repairing system for a constant regen. We have 2 out of 5 in the eager impress, 2 out of 3 in the all my BFFs, uh, furious attack, 5 out of 5. Uh, this is just getting us more gun damage uh, upon killing and enemies and stuff. Also, real quick, I have one from my class mod into here, so uh, just pointing that out. Alright, and then obviously whenever we run a stalker uh, tree flag build, we're always going to put lick in the wounds for it so that our pet can get us. And then we have three out of three in the turn channel and run, uh, constant regen and damage reduction, very great. Especially when we're running the rough rider here, we're going to constantly be moving, so we're always going to be having damage reduction and... Uh, health regen and so yeah right, then we have three out of three in the fast and the furious or furious all above half health uh flag gun damage and movement speed are increased as and their pet gains increased damage as well rage and recover five out of five kills kill after killing an enemy flak and flex pet regenerate health for a few seconds so once again uh killing more health regen and then we have one of them one of the power inside basically flak and flex pet gain increased damage when uh flag activates acting skill which in this case we're gonna be running uh gamma burst here a uh, very very awesome ability or action skill uh, so we have four to five in the curiosity uh, my class mod has two I mean not to you, has three into curiosity so if yours doesn't have three uh, you can you can put one however I was I wanted to stack mine up uh, you can take some things out uh, if you want to rearrange it just a little bit this is just what I'm rolling with here uh, then we have three out of three and persistent hunter definitely max this one out flat gains increased gun damage and axe skill duration and then I needed to throw one down and get further so I just threw it in to uh, go for the eyes one out of one you may not need to put one in here because you'll need to uh, at least get this to three so just point that out uh, this is from my class mod uh, so if you don't have it, don't worry about running anything into heat bites. Uh, two out of five in a frenzy. Hunter scale when flak pets deals damage. Flak and their pet gain a stack of frenzy. Each stack increases damage, uh, and the stacks decay after a few seconds. Then we have one. Uh, then we have one the psycho head on a stick. A hunter kill skill whenever flak kills an enemy. The pet gains increased movement speed and damage for a few seconds. Then we have hive mind. Two out of three. Uh, flak takes damage. A portion of the damage is taken is shared to their pet instead. Then we have mutated defenses, also for the pet. When Flak's pet is at low health, it gains damage reduction and regenerates health. Then we have 4 to 5 and a barbaric yop increases the power of pet bonuses granted to Flak. We got 160%, so very awesome. And then we have uh, pack tactics. All damage dealt by Flak and their pet is increased. Additionally, the fl maximum health of both Flak and their pet is increased. We have 2 out of 3. Uh, then obviously we're, we're running Gamma Burst. Uh, you can run, basically what I'm doing here is Empathetic Rage for extra gun damage. And then Endurance so that it lasts longer. If you wanted to, you could run uh, Burst Day. However, uh, for this build, you're going to be running the Rough Rider. So you're going to be moving uh, fairly fast, especially with what I get into later on. So that's why I'm not using Burst Day. And then uh, we're running the Great Horn Skag here. Uh, for increased damage and gun damage overall all right so here we are at the weapons tree in the equipment slot so uh basically uh one thing i need to point out is that a good thing to run a uh, note here is that you want to have uh, your rough rider hopefully if you if you have this uh, type of role you want to have at least with a uh, 10 percent movement speed uh, because you're going to want to stack this up basically all you want to do in order to make uh, quick stacks of your movement speed here with the uh, rough rider uh, you would basically empty out your about here. You know what? I'll just show you real quick. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right. So look. So basically, right now, I have some stacks of the Rough Rider. 
However, whenever uh, I go to try and restack on top of my stacks, it'll basically uh, wipe a clean slate. So basically, right now, uh, I have no stacks. I'm super slow. And then basically what you want to do to apply stacks with your Rough Rider here is it's very simple. You just do this. Come over here in this slot and you just spam the X button. You'll get quick and easy stacks. And then let's say 30 seconds and then right here, boom. And now we're a lot faster. So that's what I, make, I just wanted to make that a quick note about how you get uh, super fast movement speed uh, at all times uh, without it like ever going away. I just wanted to point that out. Also, that's why we are not going to be using burst aid here because we are going to be moving fairly fast and we don't want to be limited to standing in the uh, gamma burst. However, if you want to, you totally can. I'm just pointing that out here. This is why we are using the Rough Rider so we can get a lot of speed here. Uh, coming along, then moves along with that here, we have the uh, Face Puncher. Uh, the Face Puncher does uh, melee damage uh, when you shoot it. So this 80% uh, melee damage also grants 80% uh, damage to our uh, Face Puncher here. Also, I got on action skill in the next two magazines will have 50% radiational uh, damage. So that's another reason why I'm running this specific Face Puncher here. And then we have the uh, Cash and Fuse Brainstormer here. Same reason. Uh, first of all, the Brainstormer is a very, very amazing shotgun. It chains lightning. It's really good. I got a pretty decent roll. 21% uh, crit damage and then on acting skill in deal 20% bonus radiation damage for a short time So that goes pretty well with the build so far uh, next weapon here. We have the Lucian's call uh, I'm running this mainly as a way to uh, down shields uh, or armor pretty fast and this Lucian's call is great for that 26% uh, weapon damage 33% fire rate and then on acting scale in the next two magazines will have 50% additional corrosive damage so this thing is uh, going to melt through armor really well especially and it's Lucian's call so you know crits uh, make for easy money with that and then here we have the itchy double swarsome uh, this one's really really good uh, damage is amazing uh, 1400 times 3 240 uh, splash damage radius uh, then it's anointed on action scale in the next two magazines will have 50% additional bonus radiation damage uh, very very awesome here on the anointments for the weapon so far uh, then we actually got the our rough rider here uh, mine is first of all it's good because 13% resistance to uh, radiation is very nice for this then we have 10% movement speed while the shield is depleted and 80% melee damage while shields depleted uh, allowing you to stack that fairly easily and then we have our class mod here is uh, a frothing red fang while gamma burst is active flex pet ta taunts all enemies then we have 28% splash damage 25% weapon damage and 27% grenade radius um, and then coming over down here into our grenade uh, we have a hex a radiation hex spawns three merv grenades and then on action skill in gain 50% shot damage with weapons for 10 seconds so that's also another nice thing we have to have here uh, as an anointment to just apply, you know, even more damage. It may not be radiation, but it's still going to be extra damage, especially whenever, you know, using the Brainstormer that will allow for quite the amount of damage here. And then our, our artifacts, uh, basically what we have here, uh, so I'm using an elemental projector. Uh, this is really good, you know, when suffering, uh, you know, like taking damage from radiation, uh, that'll make this even stronger. And then, you know, some of the anointments here will make that even stronger. Um, it's mainly for the foursome here. Uh, it just allows for really good things. Other things you could use uh, on this. Uh, also, real quick, uh, before I uh, like, give away other like ideas for artifacts, I also want to say that uh, I have 40% uh, magazine size, 16% uh, radiation damage, and 29% radiation resistance. So that's another reason why I'm using this artifact. Uh, other things you could use uh, if you're uh, low on ammo, low on your shotgun and your brainstormer, uh, you can definitely run a cup purse. That's what I do sometimes to switch over when I'm running low on shotgun damage uh, Especially for the brainstormer you will run out of ammo pretty fast on that So uh, feel free to have a cup purse on standby for uh, regenerating ammo. Then you have a hot drop auto idle uh, This is can be uh, really good, you know, just to constantly regenerate even more health Especially when you're using a rough rider not gonna have any shield then we have this for bonus uh, radiation damage a radio head splatter gun uh, if you know just another good uh, option for an artifact and then we have a last tank commander plantoid uh deal 69 percent bonus elemental damage whenever you melee an enemy that's mainly pretty good for a face puncher and then it gives uh 25 percent melee damage so i figured that'd be pretty good plus uh temporary invulnerability when health drops below 50 percent uh i figured you know if i wanted to i could throw it on however i definitely have been making use of using this elemental projector, Moxie's endowment overall. 
uh, yeah, guys, uh, that's basically going to wrap up the build, though. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask me. Uh, uh, I've been really having a fun time using this in Mayhem 4. Um, it's been pretty nice to move really fast and then have constant regen while using a Rough Rider. It's a pretty different, uh, unique playstyle. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is going to just about wrap up the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and drop your load on that like button, baby. And subscribe if you are new. Uh, also, while you're at it, go ahead and give that bell on there a little bit of a love tap for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, also, go ahead, uh, join our Discord, try and Discord, me and my boy Hyphen are working on building up a little community down there. Uh, so if you want to be a part of that, uh, link's at the top of the description. Uh, anyways, though, guys, my name's Cree, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, y'all.